Welcome to Urban X Real Talk Fitness Radio, where we challenge the fitness between your ears. I'm your host, Tiaji. You know, today I'm going to share with you some bits and pieces from the wisdom of the ages. Now, it might not make sense to some. It may even offend others, yet these truisms remain timeless. But first, some context. Here in the Bay Area, I am noticing more traffic on the roads. Indeed, there are more people everywhere. Perhaps that is good news for the nation, but not so much for nature. You might have heard that one of the silver linings of this crisis has been the return of nature, that is, the resurgence of both flora and fauna in a dramatic way. There have been more bees and bird sightings, and that is a good thing, wouldn't you agree? But what now? What will happen when the humans return, and more importantly, when they return to their old habits of indifference towards nature and one another? What will happen to all the peace and beauty then? When will you take a walk again with your wife or children or grandparents? When will you sit down and eat a meal together or give thanks for the meal before consuming it? When will you be thankful for the outdoors again? For even the sun brings childlike joy and excitement again after months of quarantine, doesn't it? But here's the other side of the equation. What will we do when emojis are the only hugs you allow yourself to receive? See, our leaders and public officials keep talking about getting back to normal, but what is normal about shouting someone down or hating them because they have a difference of opinion than you do? What is normal about hating people because of the color of their skin? What is normal about harboring prejudice towards people because of their sexual orientation or thinking less of them because of their gender? Is any of that normal? So what exactly are we returning to? Normal? The question then arises, what and who's normal? There are lessons we should have learned before COVID-19, but didn't. And now I'm afraid by the time we go back to quote-unquote normal, it will be too late. Some scientists are predicting that the chances are high that COVID-19 will linger and even spike, return stronger in the coming months. Now, of course, that's possible, but consider this. What happens if the virus does return stronger than before and we are, in essence, weaker both nationally and individually? Because chances are we will be. See, when I witness people waiting to cross the street because another human being is approaching them because they're afraid that person might be contagious, then I'm confident we will be weaker, not stronger. It is apparent that most have already separated themselves along ideological differences during this crisis, as if we weren't already divided enough. Wear a mask and save lives. Don't wear a mask and you might as well be an accessory to murder. Murder? Really? You're just a sheep and stupid for wearing a mask. Do you really think wearing a piece of cloth on your face is protecting you and from what? See, unfortunately, I have to hear both sides of the argument. But here's the thing. Whatever side of the argument you find yourself, you 100% believe you're right and the other is wrong, don't you? Okay, so then what? What happens to people who are socially forced to physically maintain six feet distance when in their hearts they are already miles apart? Don't you think it will be used as another rationalization, another excuse to separate? Oh well. Sometimes it takes a stroke of revelation to bring such things home. If only we understood that even brief exposure to higher love creates a new brain response. Yet, this phenomenon only happens when you allow your brain to escape from its old conditioning. Neurologists understand that the greatest athletes, whether basketball players, runners, swimmers, and tennis players, have highly trained their motor cortex, which is responsible for coordinating the complicated movements required for any difficult sport. Likewise, the mere wisp of desire to love or to be more compassionate trains the brain to adapt in the same way. Did you know that? Were you aware that the force of love can move the brain? If you took a snapshot of the activity in the brain at the very instant you either had a good idea or were introduced to one, dozens of areas in your brain would be lighting up. And for each new idea, a new pattern would present itself. Imagine that. A world with more light. Dear friends, I wish above all things that you prosper just as your soul prospers. You've been listening to Urban X Real Talk Fitness Radio with your host, Tiasha. Until next week, as always, walk in health and peace.